Okay, hello YouTube. We're back with another video, and this time we're gonna prove that the derivative of sine of x is equal to cosine of x. Now, in your calculus class, you probably learned that the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x, but you never learned, really learned why. You just saw it and accepted it and then used it in your problems. That was it. You never learned why. Well, today we're gonna be using the definition of a derivative to figure out why that is. So let's start. Limit as h approaches zero of sine of x plus h minus sine of x over h, since our f of x equals sine of x. Then we're gonna be using an important trig identity to help us out here. That's equal to sine x cosine h plus sine h cosine x minus sine x over h. So you can directly substitute h into cosine h because that just yields one. So that's times one plus sine h cosine x minus sine x over h. Still have the limit here. Sine of x, negative sine of x cancel out. So we're just left with this limit, sine h cosine x over h. Now, we basically have cosine of x times the limit h goes to zero of sine h over h. Now, how do we go about doing this? There are many, many ways to go about doing this, but L'Hopital's rule is not one, because if we want to use L'Hopital's rule, indeed we can, because this is an indeterminacy form of zero over zero, but we don't yet know how to differentiate sine of x yet. So how can we use the derivative of sine to find the derivative of sine? It makes no sense. So we're gonna use other techniques. We could use something known as Taylor series. So the Taylor series, we all know, uh, sine of x is equal to x minus x cubed over three factorial plus x fifth over five factorial minus x to the seventh over seven factorial and so on. So we could substitute an h into this Taylor series. So now we have cosine x limit as h approaches zero of Taylor series h minus h cubed over three factorial plus h fifth over five factorial dot 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 over h. So that's equal to cosine of x limit of h infinity one minus h squared over three factorial plus h to the fourth over five factorial, so on. So if you plug zero into any term, any h term, you just get zero. So the only term that is non-zero is that one right there. So this whole limit here is just one. So therefore, the derivative is cosine of x. Yeah, kind of elegant. Now, there is a different proof that I'll show you in a later video, but this is all you're gonna get for today. Thank you for watching.